Heh. <laughs> Welcome back. So once again, we got the Super Brass Trips Cuz... Relatives. Relatives. And there is... Fams, fams, this fams. is actually the speedrun strat for getting into Jabu. <laughs> Super Brassman fans. Super Brassman fans. I like that. Super Brassman fans. Because no Parker for the... 20th week in a row because he abandoned us just like Brandon. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he finally got to do his LP, which was uh, Oregon Trail, and yeah. now he's like, he's like, see you. Ski guys, him. Wow. You like that 1997 reference? You know that show that's still going? It's, uh, it's still going. Yeah, it's yeah. better than Simpsons, at least. Is it? I didn't. I don't, I don't watch either. But. Yeah. It's hard to be worse than current Simpsons. In terms of just silly badness. Now, so we're inside Jabu Jabu. So and this, after... is, this is the point when uh, Master Quest uh, dungeons get significantly different and also just weird. It's like, uh, hey, what what have they been feeding this guy? Uh, cows. Whole cows. That are sticking out. Whoa, that's things. weird. And also, I mean, the first room, if you were paying attention, I had to shoot a cow to open the door. There's just a bunch of cows everywhere. And honestly, after the Forest Temple, uh, most of the dungeons just get kind of just bad. They're hard, but they're weird, and not in a very good way. Kind of weird for the sake of weird? Yeah. A lot of times it's just really roundabout, and not really that like difficult, it just takes a while. Well, do you like, do you like in general normal Ocarina or Master Quest better? I mean, I would say the, the normal quest is way more well-designed. Because Master Quest, they basically had to force every room to be different. But they couldn't, like, change the rooms because they didn't want to, like, program, like, new areas or anything. So all they did was, like, add weird restrictions to each room and, like, put keys different places. So I think inherently you can't really make, like, a, a second quest better. Well, it's especially tough when you're dealing with something you would consider already to be pretty good. They're like, yeah. well, we like Dr. Rainer. I mean, I will say That's that... That's why we released it. Or original Ocarina of Time is really easy, uh, even up until, like, the Spirit Temple, but, uh, I don't know. What, what is the... What is the motivation behind Master Quest in the first place? It was just... Why would they make it? I think Master Quest actually had ties to the 64 uh, disk drive for a while. Oh, okay. And then when they scrap that, I think as a pre-order incentive to Wind Waker, they're just like, here you go. You're gonna have Ocarina of Time and then this, like, scrap thing that we didn't really try that hard on. I mean, was it... I don't... I, it wasn't, like, ever, like, commercially released? Uh... No. It was just a pre-order bonus to Wind Waker. Yeah, and that's... Oh, that cool. is... By, that is by far... Oh, cool. What? Uh... <laughs> Can I pick you up? Good glitch. That is by far the best of all time pre-order bonus. I mean, you can't do better than a full game. Yeah. It's like, oh, you pre-ordered Wind Waker. Here's a full. Here's Ocarina. Especially it's like, like a crap. full game. At that point, was considered like the best game ever made. Yeah. That is just absurd. Yeah. I that, mean, that was that was a really good pre-order. Before bonus. or after, I can't think of anything else. Sometimes you would get like a <clears throat> a demo or whatever, but it's like, dude. Yeah. What What are the best? pre-order bonuses besides well see unfortunately you gotta go pretty far back because anything in the last like five years or so is gonna be like get this extra in-game item and it's like hey uh, okay. get get this uh get the horse armor for free in oblivion yeah the horse armor get it remember that but like that was very first... very sometimes sometimes like during the 360 and PS3 era they would give you like t-shirts and stuff and that's fine yeah but that, I mean it's nothing compared to a full really good game. I actually I actually really like like an article of clothing I like that yeah, I can't disagree this like like is uh, destroying me uh, I tell you Castlevania uh, Lords of Shadow eight, had eight. one I think one of the Metal Gear games had one where you get like a t-shirt for it. I remember Persona 4, uh, pre order bonus being a double XL shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Fatless. Thank you, Fatless. I, uh, I can't deny, I don't know what a lot of the pre-order bonuses are nowadays, if they ever do any physical ones. 
simply because we, the plebeians at CIB, most small business, don't get any access to that stuff if it does exist, but I'm not sure if it does exist. So, uh, maybe maybe there is stuff. Maybe they still fr send free swag and whatever. The once every ten years that we order from their Nintendo distributor, we get stuff sometimes. But our, our main guy is just like, meh. You get your stuff and that's it. And sometimes not even your stuff that you order. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that what a what a. It is. It's kind of weird though that like, after they had it as a pre-order bonus, they weren't like. I guess it's just early Nintendo being Nintendo. It's like, okay, you had it as a pre-order bonus and you just gave it away. Why not now release it commercially for twenty bucks and sell literally a million copies? You know, because everyone who had a GameCube who didn't already have it would be like, uh, yeah, I want that. You know. Are we doing some? Are we doing some meme magic? No. Oh. I thought you were doing some crazy, like, thing. I wish I was good enough to do stuff. Whenever I see a pause where it's not in, like, an obvious location, it's like, yeah. ah. Yeah, you throw your boomerang, and then you go to your menu and equip a shield, and then you do a backflip, and then you glitch through the entire <laughs> This is actually the room where they have the ending cutscene, and you just have to warp to the right coordinate to activate it. So here's, here's an annoying one that they add. So there's a cow behind these rocks. But you can't see it normally, except from Navi, like just kind of like going towards it. But normally you can't see it unless you do this. All right, that's I guess that's I guess you can hear. Least. I and guess you, you can to, hear mooing. And you have to throw the bombs like super specifically. I really don't. Know, I hope I don't run out of bombs. Yeah, uh, Master Quest, more like a uh, Master Hard Bad Quest. Wow. Ben, can I sign you up for my uh, improv comedy night? Uh, you already how tried that? that. Okay, I was gonna say, how is that not perfect? You already tried that, and when I did improv, and uh, for for one, it was an anniversary. I can't remember which one, but it was that wasn't improv though. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I that was prepared, which makes it even worse. <laughs> Do you remember any of the jokes? If they're PG. Uh, I told exactly one joke. Okay. Uh, let me let me see if I remember. All right. So um, I've I've been doing stand up for uh for twenty five years, and I've been doing comedy for about thirty seconds now. <laughs> the joke is uh, I learned to stand at a, a stand up at a point like way before. I started doing stand-up comedy. And that's kind of the joke. Hey, Very is... nice! It's it's so good. That cow. Where's these like-likes that are supposed to spawn? You know, I legitimately don't remember, like, Master Quest much. Maybe I just never played it much. I definitely never finished it until now. I... Mm, mm, I might have booted it up, like, once or twice. Oh, I guess I'll just shoot the cows. Oh, okay. That was so far away. Because I certainly don't remember, like, the cows on the wall and stuff. I remember hearing about it. I, pro I probably just saw someone do an LP of it or something. Much like the one I'm watching now. Which one? The, uh, this one. I'm actually okay, so I'm on my phone, I'm on YouTube, I'm watching a different LP of Master Quest. Oh good. And I thought you were talking about like how you've been like watching speedruns of it. Does anyone even speedrun Master Quest? They have to. No, right? there's there's definitely people that do. I mean yeah. ZFG does Master Quest runs. I was to spice it up. I was watching I was just watching a lot of Resident Evil. Today. Spice spice it up. After five years of playing the same game, literally the same game every day. Spice it up by playing the same game, slightly altered. D d different categories. <laughs> I told you, Carcinogen is goat. He's very common. You're like, whoa. Yeah, he's really. Well, I was only watching like his finished, like commentated runs. I know he's a separate channel where he just has like um uploaded streams. But uh, I was watching. Yeah, it was Resident Evil 3. It was a no damage, no save uh, Jill. 
Well, I guess it's always chill for a Resident Evil 3, but it was that run, and it was really good, and he was talking over it very calmly, explaining everything, so yeah, he's a good... He's, it, it's, it's crazy how a guy so calm would choose Resident Evil as a series. Because Resident Evil always puts me on edge and he's just like... Resident Evil has a lot of downtime with a bunch of loading screens. Maybe it's because of that. Yeah, that is true. As you can see here, Nemesis is going to come at us. And uh, what we want to do is knife him 85 times. I think he had a knife only run. Of RE3. Do, uh, I know it's possible. Yeah, no, he he actually, uh, I think he mentioned during it. He was like, well, I think he mentioned, like, oh, this is the last ca uh, category I have to do in this game. Which one? Uh, knife only. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so he was talking about the no damage, no save, but he was saying, like, oh, I just did knife only, so this is the only one I need to do. I like how they create all these different, uh, all these different categories for each game, just so, like, you can spice it up and whatever. Some are obvious in games, like Zelda 100%, and Zelda 80%, but, like, certain games there's a lot of them for. You know what's kind of a, kind of a fun, um, game to watch is Diddy Kong Racing. I've never watched a run of that, actually. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, obviously, a lot of the, a lot of it ends up being the same thing. But if you find a good enough runner who like kind of explains stuff, and there's a lot of like um, out of bounds glitches and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I remember that game having a lot of uh, or trying a lot of interesting mechanics, and you know, I guess it's got like three different vehicles, so fun thing. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll look that up when I get home. Honestly, I've um. I've never played it, but just by watching it, I'm like, okay, this is... I think it's actually a super annoying game. You think so? I think it... I have played it. Um, and I remember it actually being kind of infuriating. Not like... Not like Mario Kart levels infuriating, because Mario Kart, I feel like it had better control. Um, oh, cool. Nice. But that is convenient. I, I don't know, like... I'm not a huge fan, obviously, of Mario Kart 64, so... For a much easier to find and much, uh, how inconsiderate, and much cheaper game with, like, way more to do. Like, instead of just 16 tracks, there's, like, I mean, it has an, o it has an overworld, and that's kind of neat, you know? It's more like a, a hub. Yeah. I mean, you're right, but I, I don't mean, know. It's something. totally, it's totally a hub, because it's just, like, arbitrary levels. Like yeah, there's, just... there's actually nothing to do. In the in the over in the overworld, there's like a well, you know you, what? There's you drive around. You know what? There's um, nothing to do in Mario 64, on the in the overworld. But, kind of. Uh, that, that means there, more. well, you get in there. You and get you stars and stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is the one. So he's going to. Oh, okay. I don't know any cool uh, tricks in this dungeon. Here's the thing where they uh, they make fun of the fact that it's Link that is doing. You received an item, but it's yeah. not Link doing it. So that's kind of like the kind of like breaking the fourth wall. Kind of like a little wink and nod to the player. Get it's it? Like, hey, you remember this from the first Zelda, the second Zelda, the third? And then and then the game keeps saying "get it" just over and over again. Yeah, I remember that part. And then it's like, uh oh. You didn't actually get it quite yet. Well, she's eaten. So there's apparently both a uh, octopus and an octorok in the Zelda universe, and yet we only see octorok. This, this is a big octorok. But Rudo, good. Nice. Rudo uh, specifically says, "What is this? An octopus?" Well, she doesn't know. She's uh. So there's like real animals. Somewhere. She's, no, she's unfamiliar. There are definitely dogs. There's definitely chickens. Oh no, wait, they're, they're called something. What are the chickens? Cuckoos. 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 Dude, what? One hit? Yeah. The power, one the guy? Power, the power of a uh, stick. One guy? Hit. They give you one guy? 
why did that just... Uh, should I check? It's pro it probably just went the screensaver. That's fine. It's fine. Cool. I don't know why it started doing it now. I guess he changed some sort of setting. Uh, please... I don't remember changing any settings for screensaver or whatever. Never change the settings. So this, uh, this room's weird. I think you shoot this, uh cow and then it spawns the yeah it spawns these boxes with no visual indication wow this is really just like actually dumb that's really annoying it's certainly something i like these tongues they all be like, I'm a tongue. I'm a tongue, check me out. I definitely know there's a, there's a thing you can do that these temporary switches you can like somehow make be pressed like forever until you leave the room. But I have no idea how to do it. It seems like there's not a single thing they haven't figured out how to like oh, this break is in this game. Pretty much done. I just remember uh, just really hating Jabu Jabu's belly as a child. I mean, it's for a for a decent. What? <laughs> this entire dungeon is this for a sucks. For a, for a decent. Uh -huh. What the heck? Is this is this just like okay? For a decently early dungeon, it's pretty complicated. Like, especially considering the first one is is a cakewalk. The second one is like not really bad at all. And this one really like, even in that main hub where you have those three holes you can you can fall down, it's like complicated in which you have to remember all that kind of stuff. Is this boss already? Rip. Yeah, that's why I said I was like, oh, it's not done already. I actually think that probably the master quest version of this is easier because you don't have to take Rudo up to the top and then use her as a switch uh, thing. Oh you yeah. Normally, you normally kill the the tentacles or whatever they so are. So this is actually the better version. Because... Uh, other than shooting a bunch of cows in the the wall, so probably no. This boss is designed pretty cool. It certainly looks like some sort of weird parasite in the. the big... Give me that stick. Actually, a, a well-timed deck of nut. Did the job. <laughs> I like how he sat back like that. What does the deck of nuts do? Uh, it kills the jellyfish when I actually do it. Oh wow, that's very effective. You know, whenever I play this game, I never use the deck of nuts. They're pretty good. And they're they actually the best item. They seem pretty helpful. Rip. Oh, if you uh, get hit by this on purpose, then it'll take less long to be annoying. Huh. Because normally it, like, it stays down there for a while and shoots a bunch of beams at you. But you just hit it and then it goes back. That was a weird one. Nice. Wow. Also this part. That was not nice. Yeah, I didn't really get that part. Like, uh, why, why does this... Why does it grow a bunch of weird, uh, tumor-like objects? It's ogre. Oh, oh baby. baby! Are you gonna... Are you gonna wrong warp now? Wow. Eh. <laughs> uh... A woman. <laughs> She's like, am I rushing? right? Get it? I don't get it. No. Well, let me start and from fellas, the beginning. And fellas, I, I don't think any of us really do. The, the joke is that she's a 10 year old fish. Oh, yeah. 
And then Link dies. Rip Link. Okay, his entire face is constantly underneath. I do not see... I do not see at any point his nose comes up. Yeah. He's gonna die. He's just like, I'd rather just... Of water and sword of sapphire. Yeah. Rip your bomb. Cool. Gotta swim away all fancy. Da -da 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 is he breathing yet? Okay, he is. Phew. How's the water temple in this one? Uh, it's annoying. But, I don't know, I, I don't think it's any worse or better than the original. Honestly, I don't think the original is that bad. I mean, it definitely doesn't deserve all those epic memes about, oh, it's the worst thing ever. Yeah, it got, it got a lot of flack. The only uh, thing that I really think day. is really bad about it is that you constantly have to go to the menu to unequip and equip the iron boots. And if they yeah. just made it an item, which they obviously do later on in Zelda, it would have been way better. They even fixed that in the 3D version where... Both the hover boots and the iron boots are equipable items. I don't think I ever paid attention to that. Neat. Because I played the 3DS one, actually. Well, you probably just forgot, because it's definitely a thing. What's the next Zelda game they're going to port to a system? Are they going to bring uh, Wind Waker to the Switch? <laughs> they're going to bring the CDI they... ones back. Man, they, they have remastered or, or re- uh packaged every single Zelda pretty much now. Yeah. The only one they can't do is Skyward Sword, which obviously they can't really do that well unless they say we most again. I um yeah, way to way to shoot themselves in the Wii. I still don't quite understand why like Mario All Stars came out again <coughs> for the Wii. Which again isn't every Mario game, but like you'd think Nintendo would come out with some compilation, even if it was a full sixty buck game and had, like, a bunch of just the older Zelda games on it, it would do just so well. It's actually ridiculous at this point how many times they can repackage the same games. Oh, gosh. And just, like, sell them again. Switch game, call it uh, Zelda Compilation 1. It's Zelda 1, 2, uh, all the Game Boy 1s, Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. That all easily fits on a Switch, obviously. You know? Yeah. And sell it for 60 bucks. Um, People would go crazy. Uh oh, you lost it. It's gone forever. Okay, but and then um, you can make another one where it's like compilation two, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, another sixty bucks, okay. and it would guarantee sell. Guarantee. They're going to they're going to make a, a tiny Wii, make it cost uh, sixty dollars, and then call it the uh, the Wii Classic, and then sell five of them. So five of them, and then say it's been discontinued. Really, what they should do is make a system like that, but have it only have so the, you have can get only... this early if you kind of like position yourself right. I just think they should do that with just Zelda, everything Zelda related, just because Zelda is obviously not too popular. So everything they make should be like Zelda is not popular. Very limited quantities. Wow, the clipping. All right, work then. Um, I mean, it's like who would ever buy anything Zelda, right? That's ridiculous. It's it is really ridiculous. We're the only ones who have ever played this. So game. so it's like okay. Dude, I did this first try, and now I can't do it. Sit over here. The Zelda Classic has all the Zelda games on it. Sixty bucks, unavailable forever. They, uh, and they should make it a yeah. special edition too. Like they should make like a like a big make it big in special edition and make even less of them. No, yeah, every, everyone's cool. like, uh, "Hey, I want a, I want a very tiny Nintendo Entertainment System." But what if you made the thing two times bigger? What if they made? What if that's what people want? What if they made the NES Classic Two and it was huge? Yeah. But but follow me here. Uh huh. It had space where you could like. It was essentially like the Atari 5200, and it had space to put your beer and, like, oh, yeah. cartridges 
and like your phone. And on the side they say Zelda, am I right? And it just like it just says Zelda on it, and it just it all it has is a Triforce on it, but a special edition, so you can't find it. And then they say it's coming out, but then it never comes out. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm so, so happy that I do have an NES Classic, though. It's, uh, it's cute. And, and you use it zero times. I, well, I'm still working on Final Fantasy. Oh. <laughs> One and day. I don't nice know. Black Bridge. Triggered. Nice. Oh, uh, I, like, I like textures and lighting. There's, it looks like there's no texture on it. I, there is. Okay. It's there. There it is. We found it. I think that's a million dollar idea if they actually released it, but I don't think they should because that would be dumb. Am I right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you know what game they actually have in... I guess with all the Zeldas that are Ocarina of Time and newer, they've remade or ported, but they haven't done that for the older ones. I'm not saying they should do a full remake of Zelda 1, but they like don't have an option on a newer system besides the downloads. I'm sort of glad that when they were making A Link Between Worlds, it could have easily have been just a remake. Uh, and whether that's better or worse than making a game star in the same place, but being a different like kind of uh, gameplay style, different dungeons, different mechanics and stuff. Um, I'm at least glad that they tried to innovate a little bit while being a little nostalgic about the area. It'd be cool if they did that more, maybe? I don't know what they would do. Maybe like Link's Awakening remake. That would be different. cool. Rip. He's done. I still don't know why, why, uh, a lot of the games that aren't printed anymore, like New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii, and like the old ones, why do why they don't just come out with a big compendium of like ten Mario games, sixty bucks? It's probably around the same price it is for the download, but then you have like a guarantee sale rather than people picking and choosing games, you know? Uh, they own all the franchises, so it can't have anything to do with licensing. But what do I know about things that would be fun? What if you just never pick that up? I mean, I gotta say that Nintendo is bad about a lot of stuff, but also I wish Sony was better too about stuff. Oh, like, goodness, yes. I wish uh, they would even release their classic games on like a virtual kind of thing on the PS4, but they were like, nope. Either get your PS3 games through PS Now, which is a monthly service, and also don't... You don't like PS1 or PS2 games. I would like a tiny PS1. Wait, do they literally... Wait, do they literally not have PS1 games for download no, on the they PS4? No, they don't have PS1 or PS2 classics on PS4, like, at all. Wait, seriously? That's so weird. I've never looked it up, but you can't download, like, Crash Bandicoot no. or whatever? Nope. Wow. That's pretty bizarre. Speed run. That was pretty to earn. so fast. But no, what they want to do is just, uh... Eventually wait for Activision to release uh, Crash Insane Collection or whatever it's called. Buy that for a good 40 bucks. Money in the bank. Who wow. Needs $6 downloads. That's stupid. Yeah. That's interesting. I never really paid attention to that. Thanks, Sony. My big thing with Sony is they, like, come out with a good idea and then don't support it. Like, it's like they just get wet feet, or cold, excuse me, cold feet, and they're like... Uh, it's like the VR. After I've played it now, I'm like, dang, this could be the future if they, like, put some money and time into it. But, like, I'm already worried that, like, all the games I'm seeing for the VR are, like, the silliest games, you know? It's I mean, just the big like, thing about the VR is it's way too expensive. And for a lot of people, they don't want to spend literally more for the VR headset than they did for the entire console. Yeah. So they need to do something where they can either procure the parts, like, cheaper or make a cheaper version.